but they would be, hey, there goes the paper. I don't know why I had to sound like a lamb when I said that. Impressed, firmness, and heat, and heat hydration. Heat hydration, nope. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a haul and PR show and tell video for y'all today. So I'm gonna do like I normally do and I will start with the things that I purchased myself and then I'll switch over into some PR stuff and I will definitely let you know when we're switching over into that. So yeah, just gonna run through and do a little haul. So let's get to it. First off, I've been going a little bit crazy for the new shades of the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. So I've grabbed quite a few of them. I love the formula on these. I think that as far as liquid lipsticks go, they're just really comfortable. They wear better than a lot of them. They're affordable. I think they're awesome. So these are some of the new ones. I'm thinking about doing at a minimum an Instagram post with like swatches of them, but maybe a lip swatch party, a liquid lipstick lip swatch party is a little bit more challenging to do, but let me know if you'd wanna see at least the new shades that I got and I can do that for y'all. So just let me know. I ordered a couple of these from MAC. These are the Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. These are like the duochrome ones. So I got Soft Frost, which is kind of like a pinky, purpley, duochrome color, and then Double Gleam. I've heard a lot about this one. This one's kind of more golden champagne. So that's what those look like. I have them swatched here. So there is Soft Frost and there is Double Gleam. I do think these are really pretty. I do have on Double Gleam today and then on the inner corners of my eyes. I think they're really pretty, but I feel like, you know, with Makeup Geeks duochromes that are out and then even the NYX duochromes, I think these are very nice too, but if you have those, I don't think that you necessarily need these. So it's kind of just like, I don't know, pick which ones you like, but as far as formula goes, the Makeup Geek ones are my favorites, but there are those. This haul is long overdue, so you've already seen this in a Friday Favorites. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are beautiful. And the color that I got is Diamond Dust, and this is like a silvery rainbow, goldeny, well, silver and gold, that's rather confusing. But it's kind of like almost in between. It's I'd say more silver than gold, but it has a little bit of like gold in it too. So amazing, so glittery and beautiful. I love this thing. So highly, highly recommend these. I can't speak to the other ones because it's the only one that I have, but I swatched some of the other ones. They're amazing looking too. But as far as on the eyes, I've tried this one and love it. You have to like glitter though, obviously because it's real glittery. I ordered some things from City Color Cosmetics during one of their sales. So first off, I got this highlighting wand. This is in Moscato, and it's just kind of like a, you know, liquid highlighter in kind of like a doe foot applicator form. It looks pretty. Um, it's pretty much just kind of like a white cream highlighter. So, I mean, I like it, but I'm not like, ooh, this is amazing. You need to go out and get 10 of these. It's like, it's okay. And then I got a couple of palettes from them. This is the Hypnotic palette, and this is the Boho Chic palette. I was really excited about these. Um, I haven't played with them on my eyes yet, so you know I haven't really given them a fair shot, but this one is the, um, what did I say? Hypnotic. So let me just show you a couple of swatches. I mean, that looks really good. So, I mean, that looks good. I just remember when I first got these, which it's been a while now, I was like, oh, I don't know. But I mean, swatching them now, I don't know what I was thinking because these look really, really nice. So I will try that on my eyes and let you know what I think. I'm trying to get this swatch off of my hand so I can swatch the next one. Okay, this one is Boho Chic. So this is more of a warm toned palette. Maybe it was the mattes. It's been a while since I've even really looked at this. I need to actually try it out. I think it was more this one, but that looks good too. What was I thinking? I will have to keep trying this out and letting you know. Okay, this matte is swatching pretty good. The other two are swatching great. So who knows? <laughs> Maybe they've gotten better as they sat there for a while since I haven't even played with them yet. So. I will try those out and let you know because they were really affordable. Um, I think I got them like on a 40% off sale or something like that. So I think maybe they're like $15 regular price. 
something around there. So I feel like I got them, I don't know, $8, $8.40 or something like that. I ordered the Tarte Tartist Pro To Go and the Tarte Tartist Pro Glow To Go. I have not even played with these yet. I haven't even swatched them yet. Honestly, I wanna take some swatch pictures before I do swatch them, but I'm thinking about doing a video on these. So let me know if you wanna see that. They are adorable. I got them because they're little and they're cute and I thought that they would be, hey, there goes the paper. I thought they'd be perfect for traveling just because they're tiny and cute and all compact. And this one has um, mattes and shimmers, which is really nice. This um, Pro Glow To Go is like a contouring palette, but I thought that it would be good. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Isn't that adorable? I thought this would work for um, the face, but also on the eyes as well. Cause it's got like the, you know, I don't know, that could be a good crease color. And then that for the lid, just like an easy everyday eye look. So let me know if you'd wanna see a video on these. Also from Sephora, I had to grab this bag. I obsessed over this thing all around Christmas time. It says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And then it went on sale, so I decided to grab it once it went on sale. I just love the like glittery look to it. It's so girly. It's a nice bag, like it has, you know, good like structure feeling to it. It doesn't feel super flimsy. It has, you know, a little bit of structure. So I really just like the pattern and the glitter on it. Let's be honest. I placed an order with NYX online because I really wanted to get this palette. This is the Perfect Filter Shadow Palette and this is in Rustic Antique. This is so pretty. I played with this and it's amazing. In that order, I got the Glam Lip Glosses too. I got two of them. I got Beat Goes On and VIP. Let me show you those first because I already have them swatched. So the pinky one is Beat Goes On and the other one is VIP. So I was really kind of wanting like a super glittery gloss and they are really glittery, but not quite, they weren't quite what I was expecting. So still really pretty, but if you have a favorite um, in the, cause these just look so, they look super glittery in the container, but I feel like they have more color, less glitter than what I was expecting. So if you have a favorite like in this line, let me know. But this palette, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I have swatches of all these shades on my Instagram. This is just like so buttery and amazing. I'm impressed with this palette, so impressed. I don't know why I had to sound like a lamb when I said that, impressed, but it's good. It is really good. Now they do have other shades, um, like warm tones. No, well obviously this is the warm tone one, but they have like cool toned, um, you know, mixtures. So I kind of want to pick out another one that's maybe more cool toned, but I mean, just like, what? Amazing, and the mattes blend really well, so love this. Okay, now we're kind of starting to transition into some of the PR stuff. So I have some things from e.l.f. here, a couple that I purchased myself, and then the rest was sent to me. First off that I purchased for myself, this is the Mad for Matte 2 palette. I was hearing a lot of buzz about this, so I really wanted to try it. This is amazing. I have this on my eyes today. I do have a liquid shadow and then L'Oreal's Amber Rush on my lids, but the rest of the shades are all from this palette. This is incredible, like blends like a dream. I have this in my crease, I have a little bit of this in my crease, a little bit of this purple. I mean, they're just so nice and pigmented and they blend like a dream, like perfect. Probably one of the very best matte shadows I've ever worked with on my eyes. I'm super, super impressed with this palette. I do have swatches on my Instagram of all these, so if you wanna see all the shades, check there. But, I mean, just a little mini review on it, love it. So let me know if you wanna see like either a look with it or something like that because I'm obsessed with this palette. It is so, so good. And some face palettes. This one I purchased myself, the other two were sent to me. This is the Beautifully Bare Natural Glow Face Palette. It says fresh and flawless. So this has very reflective, um, like mirrored packaging. So this is what it looks like. I'm not impressed with this. I was really excited to try this, but it's just, it's not that impressive. It is right here. So not, it just, it's very, very, very light. So maybe for like everyday no makeup makeup days, Maybe the next one is the um, illuminating palette. 
So there's the outside packaging of that. Those are swatched right there. I really like this one. I think it's really pretty. Now it's not like the most metallic highlighters I've ever seen, but I think that they're pretty versatile. Like they seem like, you know, you can build them up, but they can be more subtle for every day. So this one I like, I think this one's pretty good, especially for $6. I think this one's definitely worth $6. But my favorite is the blush palette. I really like this one. This is the blush palette in light. I do have this on today. I like this a lot. Like these are pigmented, but not too pigmented where they don't blend. They blend really well and it's all in one compact. So I like that. I think that's really, really nice. So there is that one. So this one, not so much. These two like them. They sent me quite a few of their baked products. This is the Baked Trio Eyeshadow in Brown Bonanza. And this is the Baked Trio Eyeshadow in Peach Please. I was not very impressed with these. Um, they're not horrible, like this one is better. That's the darker one. That one is Brown Bonanza. But the lighter one in Peach Please, um, just super subtle. Uh, so like for everyday makeup, maybe so, but I like a little bit more intensity, especially with the lighter shades. I really hope for more intensity with it. Now Fix Plus does help, but it's still not like as metallic as I personally like. Um, then they sent me the Baked Highlighter and Blush, and that is in Rose Gold. That's up there, that is really pretty. I like that a lot. A couple of lipsticks, these are beautiful. These are the Velvet Matte Lipsticks. Oh my gosh, I love these. So that top pinky one, that one is Bold Berry. And then the brownie color is Blushing Brown. Love those, love, love, love them. They are creamy, they are pigmented. Excited to play with those more, especially Bold Berry. Oh my gosh, that looks so fun. They sent me the HD Under Eye Setting Powder. I really like this, I've used this before, I think it's great. They sent me um, the Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I love this one, it's such a pretty shade. I do already own it, and it's one of my favorites, it's gorgeous. And then a couple of brushes, I was really excited about these. This is the Ultimate Blending Brush, and this is the Contouring Brush. So I've heard great things about these, and they're more on the affordable side. I think they're $6, which is awesome. So, ooh, that feels very nice. There was a hair coming out of it, but I don't see any more coming out. It feels very soft, so that's exciting. So I will definitely play with these more and let you know my thoughts. I was super excited when I found out that I was picked for the Becca Vox box through Influencer. This has three new products from them. It has the, let's start with this. This is the First Light Priming Filter and it's like a purpley looking um, sort of a primer. It's really, really pretty. Like it just looks gorgeous even in the packaging says, fix the five signs of bad face day. <laughs> Fatigue, dullness, dehydration, puffiness, and fine lines. So I've used this a couple of times and I'm liking it so far. Like, I don't ever notice like a crazy big difference with primers, some I do, and one I'm about to mention to you. Um, but this one, I do feel like it, you know, helps to kind of like give the skin a little bit of a a glow to it um, so I think that probably helps with the blurring and I don't know feels nice on the skin I think primers do help with the longevity of makeup for sure um, but as far as like when I first put it on do I see like a significant difference in my skin eh, I see a little bit of a difference but really I think it's just pretty and kind of fun to use and then this is the Soft Light Blurring Powder, and this is in Golden Hour. Let me see if it says something about this. It says, oh, it just says when it's gonna be available. So the blurring powder is $38. The primer is $38, so that's definitely a pricier item. Um, let's see, oh, it says a real life wearable beauty filter. Our new Feather Light Loose Setting Powder acts as a veil to blur imperfections, eliminate shine, and set makeup. This microfine powder is infused with cer ceramic microspheres that scatters light to blur and perfect your look. It's the perfect last step in your makeup routine and can be reapplied throughout the day to refresh your base. 
and it says to apply, there's a brush here too that I'll show you in a second. Tap the powder into the lid of the jar, then use the soft kabuki brush to buff over the skin. The flat, dense shape of the soft kabuki brush collects the perfect amount of product to buff and blend seamlessly for an airbrushed yet natural finish. No filter needed. I really like this powder. I do have this on today. I think it's really pretty, really pretty packaging that like kind of, you know, it's a little, it almost feels like you're gonna break it. That's how I felt when I first opened it, but it's very pretty. So this is what it looks like. Now I've used the powder brush a couple of times. I'm not used to using a flat powder brush. So this is more, I'm just not used to using something like this. I'm used to using more of like a, a tulip shaped or just something that's like rounder shaped so it kind of fits into the contours of my face. Like this one I kind of, I don't know, I feel like I have to sort of like use it differently than what I'm used to, but it is very soft, really nice feeling. You can tell it's like a high-end brush. So I'm liking these new products. Got some skincare things from some different brands. Derma E has sent me several different things. The Purifying Gel Cleanser. I've been using um, something that's very close to this. I think it's the Purifying Gel Daily Moisturizer or something like that. I actually forgot to bring it in here because I've been using it. I really, really like that. I'll try to remember to list it down below for you. So that and then the Purifying Gel Cleanser. This is the Purifying Youth Serum. It says Marine Algae and Green Tea. I've really liked the Derma E stuff that I've tried so far. Like it seems like really nice skincare. So I'm excited to get to try those too. I need a new cleanser. I'm almost out of mine. And then I got this from Ofra. This is the Wander Lush Fragrance Free and Friendly for All Skin Types. An extremely velvety, smoothing, soothing and lightweight moisturizer that quenches skin with intense moisture for a long lasting hydration without the heavy feel of oil and grease. I've used this a couple of times and this is nice too. It's like a really like, I don't know, hydrating but light feeling moisturizer. So this was a collab with um, Kim Tai, I think I'm saying that right. And it's just like a really nice kind of light, I don't know, it's not like a gel but it's moving towards that. It's more like a gel than like a, a heavy cream or something like that. It has a really nice texture to it. I've used this a couple of times and I like it. I think it's a nice moisturizer. If you, look, if you are looking for one that's not super heavy but still hydrating, I think you'd like this. And then I've never heard of this brand, but it says Elemis and it says it's on QVC. So there were three different items in this little bag. It has the Pro Collagen oxygenating night cream, anti-wrinkle night cream. That sounds good. And then it has the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I've really gotten into cleansing balms lately. And then this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. It seems like marine creams are definitely having like a moment right now. It says clinically proven the powerful anti-aging ingredients of Pro Collagen Marine Cream have been shown to reduce the depth of wrinkles improve skin firmness and heat and heat hydration heat hydration nope hydration i don't know why i started it was like as i was trying to say dehydration but i didn't even say that right so i said the wrong word wrongly <laughs> so skin firmness and hydration in 15 days so i will try these things out skincare is so hard to try out and like really form good thoughts on because you know you really have to use it for like a period of time um, so I will at least try it for a few days for you and see like you know what I think about it Ooh, it has a perfumey smell but not like a heavy perfumey smell but a little bit feels soft that's nice seems very nice especially I like lather on the skincare at night during the day I usually just use something lightly on my face just because it usually breaks down my makeup with my combo oily skin, but at night, man, I lather on the skincare like crazy. Okay, so I'm excited to try that brand. And then um, Tweezer Man sent me something, which was so cool. This is, it says Tweeze in the Dark. It's a little bag, and then you open it up. I'm excited about the, this thing. I think this is genius. It's a little tweezer that has a light on it. So you can like tweeze in the dark. That's so cool, and I love that it's pink. So, yeah, I've used Tweezer Man tweezers for a long time off and on. Now my favorite is the little tiny one from the 
Milani Brow Kit. That's the one I use most often, but I've used Tweezer Man off and on for years, and it's always been one of my favorites. I have really been impressed with this. This is by Milk Makeup. This is the Blur Stick. I've used this multiple times, and this, this is a good product. It's just like a domey looking thing that you, I've put so many skincare things on this hand. Let's go to this hand. You just like rub it across your skin, your face. I mean, I guess you could use it on your hands if you wanted to, but, and then you rub it in. And I mean, it just helps to fill in fine lines and pores and just really perfect your face before makeup. And I feel like it works. And I feel like it helps my makeup stay on longer. It really does blur things. So I'm not usually like excited about products like this, but after trying this, I'm excited about it because it does seem to work and make a big difference. So I'm loving this blur stick. Laura Geller has a new foundation. This is the Color Lock Cream Foundation. And they sent me two different shades in Porcelain and Fair. I'm glad that they sent me two different shades. That was so sweet of them because I'm really in between the two. Um, let me show you little swatches of these. So I do have this on today. Um, as far, let me read about this foundation. Let me read the back. It says, create the smooth, even complexion you crave with true full coverage. This vitamin enriched formula effortlessly blends away discoloration, scars, even tattoos, while locking out aging pollutants and environmental stressors for all day flawless coverage. So let me get the other one swatched for you. So yeah, like I said, I'm wearing it today and I've worn this multiple times so far. This is very full coverage. You have to like a full coverage foundation to like this one. So this one right here, the lighter one is porcelain. So there's that one. And then this one right here is I think fair. Yeah, that one is fair. So I mix them. When I first started using this and trying it out, I was using way too much. So if you get this foundation or get a sample or something like that, just know less is more with it because it is full coverage. So just a little bit goes a long way. Um, when I apply it more lightly, I do like it. When I apply it too much, I'm not a big fan of it because it's too heavy. But if you apply just a little bit, you're getting great coverage with not a lot of product. Something I don't love about it is it has a, a fragrance. Yeah, like I smell it just a little bit now. Well, I can't smell it with all the skincare. It's like a little bit of like a perfumey something. It's not super strong, but I can smell it a little bit and that's not always my preference in, you know, face products or skincare. But if you're looking for a full coverage, creamy feeling foundation, I think you would like this. But you have to like full coverage. You have to use less of it to not have it look cakey. Cause I also found when I used too much, it started to sink into fine lines and things. But if I used less, it didn't do that as much. So I think this will be for the people looking for full coverage, but with less product and who like a, like a creamy feeling to it because it's not liquidy. It's more of like a moussey cream sort of a feeling. Um, and how it wears throughout the day pretty well. I think it wears pretty well. I don't know that I think that people with probably combo to dry skin will like this the best. Um, cause, uh, well, when it first gets on it almost, no, I was gonna say it almost has like a powdery look, but not to the point where I don't think it'll work for dry skin. So I think most everybody, except for maybe super oily. And Jessie's Girl has been so sweet and sent me a bunch of new products. So I'm gonna show some of these and like get ready with me's. I've already talked about some of them in Friday Favorites. Let me show you like the standouts for me. First off, I mentioned this in a Friday Favorites. This is the, I love this. This is the Liquid Glass Lip Gloss and this is in Idyllic. It's like a glittery light pink. Honestly, when I ordered those NYX ones, I was wanting to find something more like this where it's just like a lot of shimmer. Love this, love that shimmer. So it has less color to it, more shimmer. So I can put it over, you know, different things. So love that, smells amazing, like cupcakes, so vanilla cupcake 
yummy dessert-ish. It's amazing smelling. So love, love, love that. I really like these fluid shadows. Not all the shades though. I like these two especially in Penny Arcade and Destiny. I did swatch these in a Friday Favorites, but I'll show you really quickly. I have Penny Arcade on today with um, Amber Rush from L'Oreal over it. These take some working with. Like, you really can't blend them out. You just kind of have to tap them on because if you start doing a lot of blending, they kind of blend away, but they can be built up by tapping. So they take a little working with. It's, you know, gonna be a personal preference if you want to work with them, like if you want to spend the time on it. I like it because it's kind of like fun and creative to get to try different makeup techniques. So I like those especially, but not all the shades. I do have them swatched on my Instagram if you want to see all the shades. And then I've been loving this. This is the Jessie's Girl Highlight and Contour Kit. This is so nice. I do have this on as my contour today and it's just really nice quality, like very buttery and they blend so well, especially the contours. Like I'm not using so much of like the matte um, highlighters over here. The shimmery highlighter is pretty. It's more on the little bit subtle side, but these are just such a nice texture to them. Super duper impressed with this. I've used this on my eyes too for like an easier sort of a makeup look and it was perfect for that too. Super, super impressed with this palette. So those are the standouts. Oh, and then also the um, liquid eyeliner. They sent me several different colors of these, the liquid eyeliners. Um, the colors I wasn't so much blown away by, really didn't like the white one. I tried the white one, wasn't super impressed with that. But the black one, the regular one that gets a lot of hype, that one's awesome. I love that one. And lastly, this box just made my day because it is just happy and fun and brought me back to my childhood and it's just adorable. These are all of the new releases from Lip Smackers. So these are all their new 2017 products. So standouts would definitely be the Marvel characters because these are just adorable, number one, but also Timothy loves superheroes. So we go to all the new movie releases and superheroes is just a part of our lives because it's one of Timothy's hobbies and we take on each other's hobbies. So definitely love the Marvel characters. I really like these. These are so cute. They're like little um, different kinds of sodas and they look like little like little cups of soda and then you like screw off the top and then you have your lip balm in there. Is that not adorable? Just super cute. So this one is um, Cherry Coke and it smells really good. Yum. So love those. If you like, you know, sodas, I think that you would really like those. If you like the Marvel characters, I think you'd like the other ones. There's a lot of little characters like um, is that supposed to be Dory? Yeah, I think that's Dory. And this one is in Blue Tang Berry. And then there's other little characters. So they have like a ton of different characters. So I think there's something for, you know, everybody that likes fun stuff like this in the whole new release collection. These are the best flavor forever. These are the Coffee House scents. So I opened this and this smells like coffee. The one that I opened, I opened, I think it was caramel macchiato. Smelled amazing, but you have to like coffee to like the scent of this. So if you're looking for some fun lip balm type products, definitely check out their new releases because they're just super fun and happy. All right guys, so that wraps up this probably way too long haul and PR show and tell. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below if you tried out any of these products, what are your thoughts on them? I always love hearing your opinions. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.